tough for them. You know, I interviewed Harry Morgan. You know who Harry yeah. Morgan is. If I were going to be an actor, I, I'd want to be a supporting player like that and work it's constantly. Tough. It's tough. That's what I it's don't a want. Good, it's we want to be a star. Yeah. Okay, we're ready. Well, hello, Paul. Nice to, nice see, to see you, you. again here in Los Angeles. And uh, uh, having just seen yesterday Moscow on the Hudson, let me tell you, I enjoyed it very Thank much. You. I did. Good. I think that it has a wonderful look, too. Great performance, this wonderful look. I hope it does well for you. Thank you. Uh, did when you were getting this project together with your co-writer, uh, did you have Robin Williams in mind as you were writing it? No, no. We I had no actor in mind. I never write. I have not yet written with an actor in mind. I will say this: as you begin to write and talk about it, particularly if you have a co-writer, colleague, or even to yourself, you start to think. Gee, Jack could do this, or Ack, uh, or Redford could do, or you, you start saying names in your head because the, you're trying to make the, 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 this imaginary character real to yourself. So you imagine either a flesh and blood person you know personally together, or you mention a movie star. But, but I, I, I didn't write it for anyone. I think the only time I would do that would be if, if I knew the person well and I talked to them beforehand and I said, look, I've got an idea about. X, Y, Z, would you like to do something like that? And they'd say yes, and then we'd talk, and I might do it, but I never committed myself uh, a priori, you know, before the fact. I just write the script, and then afterwards say who could play it. And, and most of the time, most roles can be played by more than one person. It'll be different. It'll be completely different. Now, in this case, if not Robin, uh, who might? Small, very small group of people. In, in, in all honesty, I, d I didn't think of, of dozens. I mean, uh, in his age range, he's one of the few people I thought of. I mean, I, I thought of Dustin, because I think Dustin could have learned Russian. But it would have been, you know, a 40-ish 40, 40 year old man. With Robin, I've got a, a younger, much younger man, a decade younger. and. Uh, there's a few others who, who could have played it, but I don't think there are too many who are also, who are funny and can act. You see, it's a, it's a tough combination, and I think when the film comes out, if Robin has not already shown people in Garp that he is truly an actor, I, I think they'll see it in this film. It's tough. He's very convincing in in a in a uniquely difficult situation. He's speaking Russian. He then speaks with an accent. Then he begins to speak with less of an accent. And, uh, you know, he's, I mean, the easiest thing he did was learning to play the saxophone. I don't think that, I think lots of actors can do that. But uh, who else was on the list? I don't know, I guess Richard Dreyfus. Uh, you know, I'm telling you the truth. I'm trying to remember. Nick Nolte, I thought of way back somewhere because he looks kind of Russian. Bill Hurt. Uh, uh, but Robin was, my, was my, my real choice, and it worked out. Indeed, it works very well. Yeah. You spent some time in Russia, kind of yeah. backgrounding yourself. What um, what is the sense of being in Russia? I've never been there. I've traveled a lot, Paul, but I, I have the feeling um, that it's just all very dour. Well, it's it's a magnificent paradox because it's a beautiful country. With with Leningrad is is gorgeous. There, there's Kiev is beautiful in many ways. Moscow is, is kind of drab physically, except for Red Square. But, and the people have, if you get to see them privately, are, are lovely. But, but what you see as a tourist, except for museums and things like that, it's grim. It's, it's tough. There, there's, there's lots of people standing in line for, for goods all the time. There's not too much gaiety and laughter and noise in the streets. Uh, my perception of it was that it's, it's a tougher, tough place to live, tough life. Robin says, though, that he thinks Russians and Americans are very much alike in many ways. Well, it's a, it's a very interesting statement. Uh, they're alike in, in that they both love their country, countries, in a sense, and they're alike and they both have a kind of sense of, of gusto deep down. They do. That's true. There is that. And I guess they're alike in that we're both scared to death of each other. You know, I mean, the, the, the governments, if we could cross through that barrier, maybe this thing would get, be over with. But I have to say, you know, and I, I don't want to sound like a patriot, that our leaders at least are relatively sophisticated, some of them. 
and travel and get to see the world and go go many places that theirs don't they're stuck there in Moscow well you know what do they see so they're they, they, they're truly not aware of, of they really believe in the myth of of how bad things are supposed to be here and that sort of thing and 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 uh, I, I, I suspect that if, if you showed them every fact in the world about how much freedom we have in America, they, most of them still wouldn't believe it. Well, yes, but you don't really. We do really. I mean, you, you can get mugged here and you can, you can lose your job here and you can be treated like, like a dog here, but you are free for the most part, most, most of us. It's tough here, but we, we've, got, we've, got a, we've got a nice thing here in that. I, I think so anyway. I'll second that. Alejandro Reyes said that he thought this film would play even better in foreign countries, that he thinks foreign audiences will be even more receptive to it. Do you well, agree? I hope so. I, I'm, uh, I just don't know. I, I'm, I'm very hopeful because I think that, I, sometimes I think the entire world, deep down, has one fantasy. You know, if they, if they went to Fantasy Island, and, and, and the guy said, what do you want? They would say, I'd like to go to America. I'd like to go to the United States. And they're coming. So if that's true, if all of that is, yes, it, the film will be popular in, in abroad. See, they love me in Sweden. They love me in Israel. They, they like me a lot in France. But every movie is its own creature, and, and I don't think it's safe to totally predict anything, uh, you know, about what's going to happen. I, I, I think it will. I think they'll love it in Latin America, for sure. I mean, Alejandro, I'm sure, is relating partly to that. I, I'm very certain of that. And I think they'll like it a lot in Italy. Uh, I'm not sure about Romania. <laughs> you know. Paul, one last question, real quick. Uh, Oscar predictions, best picture. What, well, what I'm going to predict now is not necessarily what I think should win, what will win, you mean? What My will predictions? Win. What will win? Oh, Terms of Endearment will win the best picture. Actress? Uh, uh, Shirley MacLaine. Actor? Uh, well, you know, what's uh, Duval? Bobby Duvall, Jack Nicholson, supporting actor. Now, actress? The supporting, supporting actress, actress, I thought Linda Hunt would win, the, the girl from Le Year of Living Dangerously, but I've got a hunch that Cher might might win. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm very ambivalent. And I think Brooks will probably win for Best Director because he won the Director's Guild thing. And uh, Cinematography, they'll probably give it to Sven Nyquist for Fanny and Alexander. And that's all I know. And, that's good. And I want, a, I want a penny if I win, if I'm right. <laughs> okay. I'll be sure to send it to you. Okay. Paul, it's good to see you again. It's nice to talk to you. And I do hope that Moscow on the Hudson does well. It's a neat picture. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Pleasure. Good interview. Very good. Well, you're very warm and very pleasant good. to talk to. All right, gentlemen, tell you uh, if you want to move my... Uh, you might want to sit back. I can catch you a little closer. Okay. My feet don't touch the floor. <laughs> okay, is that better for you? All right. Did you have Robin Williams in mind when you were creating this film and writing it and all? If not Robin, who? When you were in Russia, what was your feeling about the place and the people? I've always had in mind that Russia is a place where there isn't much laughing going on, right or wrong. Robin Williams says that Americans and Russians are very much alike. Do you think so? Um, Alejandro Ray says that he thinks Moscow on the Hudson will be even better received in foreign countries. What do you think? Very quickly, Oscar predictions, your predictions. And best supporting actress. And now let ju uh, I'll just give you reactions.
Who should be an actress? I mean, come on, let's place it. Okay.